In August of 1883, a volcano in the Sunda Strait exploded with a force the modern world had never known. Krakatoa's blast was heard thousands of miles away. Its tsunamis wiped out entire towns and dust high in the sky changed the color of sunsets and the climate around the globe. This is the story of how one eruption briefly altered the world. Krakatoa sat on the Ring of Fire, a region of restless plates and simmering power. In May 20th, 1883, the volcano began to rumble. Ash columns, loud explosions, inflated worry among islanders and sailing ships. It was not a singular event, but a meticulously orchestrated symphony of destruction that unfolded over several months. It began with whispers and tremors. Many initially assumed these were routine eruptions, but the island was preparing a catastrophe. On August 26-27, the violence escalated. Multiple massive explosions culminated on the morning of August 27th. Then, at 10.02 a.m. on August 27th, Krakatoa unleashed its final and most terrible scream. The third and largest explosion tore through the island, two-thirds of it obliterated in an instant. The blast produced a pressure wave so immense it circled the earth three and a half times, recorded on barographs worldwide. Windows shattered in Jakarta, 160 kilometers away. Sailors 40 miles out had their eardrums ruptured. The sound was heard as far as Mauritius, four eight hundred kilometers distant, and mistaken for cannon fire in Australia and the Philippines. It was the loudest sound ever recorded in human history, an estimated 180 decibels, even a hundred miles away not merely heard, but felt. The planet's fury carried on a shockwave that echoed across the globe. Pyroclastic flows and underwater explosions generated immense tsunamis. Entire coastal towns were inundated. Eyewitnesses described waves tens of meters high. Official tallies after the disaster attribute at least 36, 417 deaths to the eruption and ensuing tsunamis, though some estimates are higher. Krakatoa hurled massive quantities of ash and aerosols high into the stratosphere. Some contemporary reports and later analyses estimate ash and gases reached tens of kilometers, casting a veil that scattered sunlight and painted skies worldwide. Unusually vivid sunsets, strange twilights and optical effects were reported from Europe to North America for months. Aerosols and dust reduced incoming solar radiation. Scientists have linked the eruption to a noticeable dip in global temperatures and unusual weather patterns during the mid-1880s. Artists also noticed the strange skies. Researchers have long argued that the crimson twilights after 1883 influenced paintings such as Edvard Munch's The Scream. Krakatoa changed volcanology. Scientists learned more about how explosive eruptions inject aerosols into the upper atmosphere and how tsunamis can be generated by pyroclastic flows and submarine collapses. Locally, the eruption reshaped the archipelago. Later, Anna Krakatau, child of Krakatoa, rose from the caldera, a reminder that the Earth's fires continue. Krakatoa's blast was local catastrophe and global signal. A single island, a single day that altered weather, art and science. If you want the sources and image credits, check the description. Like, subscribe and tell us which historical disaster you want explained next.